This production is brought to you by Ancient Origins, reconstructing the story of humanity's past, and the YouTube channel, The Study of Antiquity and the Middle Ages. Ancient Nubia, the melting pot of Egypt and Black Africa. The archaeological site of Sede Inga is located in Sudan. A hundred kilometers to the north of the third cataract of the Nile on the river's western shore. Known especially for being home to the ruins of the Egyptian temple of Queen Taiyi, the royal wife of Amenhotep III. The site also includes a large necropolis containing sepulchres dating from the kingdoms of Napata and Meroe. 7th century BCE to 4th century CE, a civilization mixing local traditions and Egyptian influences were known collectively as the Kush by their neighboring Egyptians. Tombs, steles, and lintels have been unearthed by an international team led by researchers from the CNRS and Sorbonne Université as part of the French section of Sudan's Directorate of Antiquities, co-funded by the CNRS and the Ministry for Europe and Foreign Affairs. They represent one of the largest collections of Meroitic inscriptions, the oldest language of Black Africa currently known. The necropolis of Sedeinga stretches across more than 25 hectares and is home to the vestiges of at least 80 brick pyramids and over a hundred tombs, dating from the kingdoms of Napata and Meroe. The research programs carried out since 2009 have focused on the chronology of the construction of this necropolis, which is difficult as there is very little remaining historical information on this civilization. The researchers have shown that most of the pyramids and tombs are buildings dating from the era of the Napata kingdom that were later adjusted by the Meroitics. These adjustments were thus made five centuries after the initial building on the site, which the Meroitics supplemented with new chapels built out of brick and sandstone blocks on the western side of the pyramids and which were intended for the worship of the deceased. This practice was particular to the Napatans and Meroitics, who veritably revered the monuments of the past, unlike their Egyptian neighbors. Pieces of decorated sandstone such as steles as well as lintels and door surrounds have been discovered at the surface, providing magnificent examples of Meroitic funerary art. For example, pigments, mainly blue in color, have been preserved on a stele found lying on its side. This is rare for objects of this kind, which typically are subjected to the vagaries of time. Another exceptional find, a chapel lintel representing Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of order, equity, and peace. This is the first extant representation of this goddess, depicting her with African characteristics. 
During the last excavation campaign in late 2017, the researchers discovered a stele in the name of a lady Malawarase. The stele sets out her kinship with the notables of Nubia, in the north of the kingdom of Meroe. She was the sister of two grand priests of Ammon, and one of her sons held the position of governor of Faras, a large city bordering the second cataract of the Nile. The archaeologists have also unearthed a lintel inscribed with four lines of text, describing the owner of the sepulcher, another great lady, Adatalabe. She hailed from an illustrious lineage that included a royal prince, a member of the reigning family of Meroe. These two steles, written for high-ranking women, are not isolated examples in Sedeinga. In Meroitic society, it was indeed women who embodied the prestige of a family and passed on its heritage. All these discoveries advance our knowledge of Meroitic civilization, which was born of the cultural intermixing of Egypt and Black Africa that still characterizes Sudan today. These funerary objects represent the largest collection of texts in Meroitic, the oldest language of Black Africa, written in characters borrowed from ancient Egyptian. Excavation work on the site began in 1963 and recommenced in 2009. It will continue until 2020 and is divided into three four-year plans, the last of which began in November 2017. Ancient Origins specializes in reconstructing the story of humanity's past. And honestly, for those of you who love anything ancient, mysterious, and the unexplained, it's the best resource online for you, providing a variety of content. But more importantly, it's helping us understand the subjects that we all love. From the fringe to the mainstream, you get the best of everything. But if you want access to even greater content, I highly suggest you becoming a premium member to Ancient Origins. And for those of you who may ask, okay, why? I have an answer for you. One, it is a treasure trove of information. It gives you even more access to the subjects that you love from ebooks, webinars, expeditions, even more articles. But in some cases, you get to talk to the experts themselves. And by being a subscriber to Ancient Origins, you are continuing to help them make history matter. Ancient Origins literally has something for everyone. So, before we get to the presentation, check out the links in the video description below. I'm going to provide you with a variety of references to Ancient Origins from their Facebook page and other social media outlets to the very heart of the Ancient Origins website itself to help people like me and you better understand the subjects of history, 
mystery, and the unexplained that we all love. 